Alright guys, today we're going to be cooking another loadout build for a viewer. This time it's going to be for Itachi who has set us the following budget and goals. We are going to be working with a $5,000 budget and that includes knife, glove combo, every single weapon skin and what he's asked for is for this to be an OG iconic loadout that has skins from 2013 to 2016. So, get ready to roll back the years and... The price of this loadout now versus what it would have been back then will be disgusting. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Skinport. If you didn't already know, Skinport is the best place to buy and sell your Counter-Strike skins with a fast, smooth, easy, and secure experience for both buyers and sellers. The big benefit is that prices are considerably cheaper compared to on the Steam market. For example, this Air Freya one s Hyper Beast is currently 21% cheaper on Skinport, giving you more value for money. They've also added an amazing 3D viewer for inspecting skins and charms. This means if I'm not able to jump into an inspect server, I can still fully check out the skin and decide on the purchase. On the selling side, Skinport can essentially act as a middleman for your trades. If you do a private listing on Skinport, the fee reduces to 2% and you can send the link directly to the buyer. So, with over 2 million skins available right now, no buying fees and an excellent trust pilot rating, Skinport has everything you need and more. Check out the link in the description and thanks to Skinport for sponsoring today's video. Now, the base for a loadout like this is one of the most important things and you can see I've gone for some superconductor gloves here which in field test will run you $2,400, which is a lot. We're basically talking half of the budget is going into gloves, which is, I mean, if you wanted to really focus on weapon skins, maybe that's not the play. But when you see the weapon skins, I think it will make sense. And in regards to the knife, I was looking at the knives back then. What's like an S tier knife? I know Itachi loves the M9 bayonet. So I was like, you know what? If we go for an M9 bayonet blue steel with the superconductors, it's not as perfect as parrying like a Doppler phase three in here. But I still think this is a pretty solid knife and glove combo. It is over the $3,000 mark, so maybe Atachi will shout at me for spending a little bit too much here. But I want you guys to let me know the thoughts of this. Is this the knife and glove combo you would have gone for? But do that after you see the weapon skins. Also, if in general you're wondering why Atachi was picked, it's because he's a YouTube member. So we're going to do two of these videos every single month. And basically, YouTube members get priority, and then we're going to randomize it based in Discord. Now, let's look at the weapon skins. Now, I have skimmed over agents because they weren't released between 2013 and 16. So if he wants to run some, you know, he can fuck around and get those himself. But on the weapon skins, I'm going to go USP. And it's going to be Orion to kick us off. Factory New, this is going to run about $55. Prices from the 11th of November. For me, this is such an iconic skin. I think this or the Cayman, the Cayman were my options. So I've always loved how this pistol looks. I think it holds up really well. We do go for a much more expensive option on the Glock. I do think the Twilight Galaxy with the superconductors looks incredibly good. This is about $185 for the factory new. Now, you could, if you're on a more modern side, look maybe towards the Axia, but, you know, we're going for these old school skins. So value for money goes out the window a little bit. Now, my first souvenir form is going to be the Hand Cannon Deagle, which is about $250 for the minimal wear. Souvenir and it actually surprised me that the blue isn't perfect But it actually pairs quite nicely with like the blue marking on the thumb of the superconductor gloves now This was pretty much the only OG deagle sort of option that I thought fit for this because I didn't want to go for a blues Now it really makes sense of the glove option. Here is the AK. We've gone for the most iconic OG parrot I can think of Hitachi superconductors and a Vulcan. Minimum wear Vulcans about $430. You said like you want the skins to be OG and iconic. For me, I feel like Vulcan AK. I know as much as the case hardened in recent times has become this go to, but way back for me and for many others, Vulcan was better than the blue gems and the case hardened. So this for a 2013 to 2016 iconic pick, 100%. And it pairs so well with the superconductors. I may have let a little bit of personal preference slip through for the Empire one else, but it is going to be the Icarus Fell, factory new, $460. I think just running the combination of this and a Vulcan is such a nice fucking move. Like, it comes together so, so nicely. And then maybe a surprise pick for the m 4 a 4 We have been discussing this in the Discord recently, but a modern hunter... $320 for Factory New. It's float capped at 0.06, which is why it's so expensive in Factory New compared to minimal wear. But I think it's worth it, man. If you had a 5k loadout and you want to, like, honestly, you never see this M4A4 used in game. Or I very rarely ever see it, even by pros. So I think if you want to, like, an OG class or an OG loadout pickup, 
Man, this has to be in consideration. The orb might be a surprise, but I actually went for the graphite. I thought $130 for this factory new. I think it's from 2013 or 2014. So it is one of the oldest op skins in the game. And while I've not put anything on it, I think BSLine, you have such a good potential here to put like a blue that matches the superconductors on the scope and through the skin here because it has then that blackish gray that pairs in with the rest of the gloves. So this actually is a really nice base to cook something depending on what you wanted to do. Then on the MP9 side of things, I landed on the Hypnotic. You know, it doesn't break the bank. Pandora's box is kind of in the consideration there, but then I think I would have been leaning too heavily on the Gods and Monsters collection. So just over $9 to this in fact renew, I thought it could fit in. Now, the MAC-10 might be a bit of an unusual pick, but I've picked the Nuclear Garden. Now, you could go Souvenir, and if you do, you may, and the pricing is not too dissimilar, uh, what you then could look at doing is going for some old cash stickers, because that's where this is from. This is from the old cash collection. So you could go and get some OG stickers from one of the original maps and just have that be a vibe. You're probably going to have some overpay there, but baseline pricing, minimal wear from the cash collection. I love it. Another no-brainer pick for me was going to be the P250 Splash. You can find this with so many Cattle 14 papers on it. The baseline pricing is just under that $20 mark. You could try and go get a decent sticker price on an older skin if you wanted to. And I know at this point, there's some skins like the Orion that have like orange, they're not blue, but I think the orange and the blue works together. So it still kind of fits in. Um, honestly, Joe Barretta's, I was a little bit stuck on it. I went for the Stain because they're from that time frame and they're only six cent and minimal wear. So even in a 5k loadout, I just, just I don't see any point in overspending for the jewels here. Now, one of the interesting ones is some of the old skins, like this Copper Galaxy 5.7, actually got a big upgrade when it came to CS2. So it's now like $5.20 minimal wear, but the lightning upgrade it got makes it look even better than it would have been before. So you want an OG skin that's got a buff? This is fantastic, which is the same sort of conversation the Cobalt Disruption would have been in for the Desert Eagle. If I had picked it. You know, the Gale, we're going to go again, leading into these orange tones with the blue, which does actually work, guys. But we're going to be going for orange DD Pat. $25 minimal wear. Pricing on this one is a little bit fucking sketchy all over the place. So you might have to check a few different places. But it's literally the oldest Gale skin in the game based on the databases I was checking. So that's also kind of cool. The Famous, I'm going for a Spitfire minimal wear for $45. It obviously does get somewhere, which you can see, which is unfortunate. But the whole theme of this being based on the plane itself, the Spitfire, I kind of like how that comes together. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it's actually one of the guys in the Discord, along with others, that has been discussing picking up bulldozers. Because, you know, they're a little bit different. You can get some old stickers on them. $16 for this in minimal wear. Whether or not you want to spend that much on a Mag 7, that is up to you. But, surprisingly, minimal wear it looks pretty clean. And I'm sure you can find this for not too much overpay with some interesting stickers on it from back in 2013 through 2016. Now, XM, that actually surprisingly pairs really well with the gloves, is going to be a Vari Camel Blue. But I want to go souvenir for it, which means it's only going to cost you 81 cent. And I'm actually in awe of how good this skin looks with the superconductors. That's kind of crazy. Now we've got the final few skins here. The Tech 9 is going to be a brass, but $8.50 minimal wear. There's honestly a handful of Tech 9 skins, but I thought the brass was probably yes, or iconic. I don't know. None of the Tech 9 skins really fell into this, but if any could, probably the brass. Now, while I avoided the Desert Eagle Blaze, the UMP Blaze definitely is fitting a bill for us here. It's like $14 factory new, but it is an absolute OG skin. As is the Anodized Navy for the SG, but that is a little bit boring, unfortunately. But the good news is, minimal wear, it's going to cost you less than half a dollar. So in a 5k loadout, it's kind of whatever. And honestly, when I was planning that, I almost forgot an AUG. But I'm actually going to go for the Chameleon for $2.30 in minimal wear. Um, there's so many different sticker crafts you can do for this. I don't even want to get into it. A scout, though, that I've actually started to enjoy is the Miam Dreams. Now, Fire Serpent isn't my favorite thing in the world, but this is very Fire Serpent inspires or cloud and artwork. It's only $7 in minimal wear. The color can leave a lot to be desired because it's not really perfect for many loadouts, but it is an older scout skin. I think it's definitely very interesting. And if you wanted the theme of loadout around like brown gloves to make it more affordable, this could be an option. And then finally, I'm going to end it off with a P90 module, which is $2.50 in minimal wear which actually i didn't like how this looked in csgo and i've not looked at it in forever but it actually kind of kind of nice at least with the gloves the blue tones are close enough together that it kind of works could also work with overprints now the total loadout cost for this is five thousand one hundred and thirty three dollars so we do go over the budget just a little bit but it's well within that five percent buffer 
that we go for. Overall, I think I've cooked a pretty good load out here. With the limit being 2013 to 2016 skins, there's definitely some banging picks. I gotta say, as you go further down later in the video, as you would have seen, the gallop shoots kind of run a little bit dry or a bit flat, but definitely for the main weapon skins, getting like a Vulcan, an Icarus Fell, I went for a hand cannon, but you could go for a Cobalt Disruption. You've got the Orion, the Twilight Galaxy. It's just a lot of stuff, and obviously the gloves category. We can get superconductors, and I think you would probably have to look at Blue Steel budget-wise at this time. But if you're someone that's had any of these skins from 2013 to 2016, and you kept them this whole time, you're laughing because the pricing increase has been nuts. So, Itachi, I hope you've enjoyed this one. You guys let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. I want to say a big thank you to the YouTube members that continue to support the channel, like Itachi. And if you want to be able to get priority for an inventory build like this, as I say, we do two every single month, then make sure you join, hit that join button down below, check it out, and then get priority for a review. But hit the like button if you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button if you're right here, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Good.